Hey there, good morning. I'm John. Today is Friday, May 24th, 2024. Uh, this is my daily vlog, my regular morning ritual stand-up where I am reporting on what I have done and what I'm doing next to try to make content creation indefinitely sustainable every day, chipping away at it. Uh, so uh, let's get started talking about yesterday, uh, the best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, so we had a vlog yesterday and I talked about here are the things I am absolutely going to do. And then, as, as I'm editing my vlog, my inbox and news feed and social feeds explode with a press conference that Atari acquired in television. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like if, you know, Xbox purchased Nintendo or, you know, I compared it to like Coke buying Pepsi. It's, it's it, okay. <laughs> If you didn't play games in the 70s and 80s, or you're not an, an old nerd like I am, this was like the original like Xbox versus PlayStation thing. You know, people argued about which one was better, and there were camps, you know, one group of kids had one. Anyway, Atari just gobbled it up. Uh, it was out there with all the IP, and it was working on that Amico platform, but they've carved out the Amico and kept it, and Atari bought all the 200, apparently, games? I didn't even know there were 200 first-party games for the television. Anyway. It was a news item, and <laughs> if we've learned anything over the last year and a half, if there's a great Atari news story and it's I have something interesting at all to say about it, I'm doing a piece on it. So, uh, I had planned to start working on my Friday plays and then do some writing in the afternoon, I, fit, I published my vlog and got right to work re researching, looking at the press, press releases, writing my own script, putting it in the prompter, getting in here, standing up, and knocking this thing out. So by the time I hit 12.30, I had published this uh, editorial on this new piece of news. I wasn't the very first, uh, but I was right up there as one of the first, and uh, uh, some people that are bigger than me did it after me, and the last time I looked, they were still behind me in terms of views, but that'll change. Like, your audience is gonna bring people to you, right? Uh, but I knocked out that video yesterday in about two and a half hours, overnight, um, not even overnight, it hasn't yet been 24 hours, 9,000 views on that thing, right at it, just shy of 9,000 views. Maybe by the time I grab the screenshot, it'll say nine, I don't know. Um, so, time well invested, but it threw a monkey wrench in my day. So, uh, when I got back from lunch, then I had to do the next thing that had a finite date, which everything had a date, and that is, I have the Friday plays I needed to get done. <clears throat> it was written, I needed to do the, do the playing, and do the uh, stand-up, and edit it. Um, interestingly, so over the last month or so, I've been struggling with my video editor because they did an update and it's caused some audio problems. Some audio pops here and there during renders and most notably on tracks in my plays where it's a, lo it's a long droning sound, you know, like the, uh, the tank in Thunderground or whatever. When I do a transition, I'll sometimes the audio will drop out. It's a bitrate problem, I guess. Well, because I published, I finished the Friday plays, I always publish early to members. Both uh, Jeremiah and Retro Jack had me messaged me and said, these audio dropouts are really getting bad and here's timestamps. Oh my God, you people. <laughs> Coming out of a, you know, <laughs> software development and troubleshooting and customer service thing. Can I tell you how nice it was to have a message that says, Here's the exact problem, and here's the exact moment in the video when the problem happens. <laughs> that never happens. Usually what you get is, you know, a message goes, dude, your audio screwed. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, all that tells me is, please go ahead and be depressed, and then start a research investigation into figuring out what is wrong. These guys must have worked in quality assurance because they, they messaged me, here's the problem I'm seeing, here are the exact timestamps in the video where it's happening, so I could go and look and go, yeah, it doesn't match my timeline. Anyway, the end result was huge help from members and supporters to get me ironed out there. I did a couple more versions, and because it was just to members, it wasn't a catastrophe to upload a new version and delete the old one. Uh, I don't know if you know, on YouTube, you can't update a video at all. You can't edit, blur a face, whatever. I mean, they have some tools for after the fact, but I couldn't upload a new version that had fixed audio <clears throat> and have it still be the same address. But because this came out a day early to members, members reported to me the problem, I fixed it. So now that video will release today with proper audio, um, a collaborative thing. So thank you. Thank you so much guys for your help with that. So 
Uh, but yeah, that again, that was the, that took until 5:30 or 6, and then it's evening time, and it's so <laughs> productive day. But now I now I got I've got to do what I didn't do yesterday today, which we'll talk about. Let's talk about those stats with our fancy new chart. Uh, so, you know, right in the middle is where we want to be, 10,000 views and 50 subscribers. Over the last seven days, my average is 12.8 thousand views, almost 13, and 32.8 uh, subscribers on average. So, yesterday helped a lot. Also, a bad day slid off the back end, that old bad Friday we had last time. Uh, so, all that has helped. Uh, uh, and in the end, a new a milestone. We were close yesterday and we're well past it today. 49,430 subscribers. So almost halfway to that 50K of our, our little arbitrary goal. So just keep an eye out for it. What do, uh, Kat had an estimate the other day. I forget what she said. Maybe she said June something. I forget what she said. Anyway, uh, it's coming. It's coming. Probably a couple of weeks. I don't know. Maybe end of the month. Where are we at? 20, or 24th? Eh. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's talk about today. Have to finish the writing for the podcast debate. I have all my talking points. I have to edit that down. That's first thing today. That's what I'm going to do before I even get to lunch. Uh, it, start on it. If you want to finish or not, I'll finish after lunch, whatever. Um, then, look, I'm still waiting for embargo dates on. Where's my, how's my thumb work in reverse? Right back there, these little things that I got. Still don't have those. I just wrote off to my play on contact because in the, the uh, news item I posted, the editorial, uh, people were asking, that's great. When did these other items ship? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm waiting too. I'm waiting to find out. I mean, I have them, but I, you know, I'm not, I can't do any work with them. Um, I mean, here's, I, I could, right? I could shoot and edit the video, but I can't publish it to who knows when. So that it just would, it just pushed down my schedule. So I'm waiting until it actually is, I can publish it. Anyway, um, if I get all that done, <laughs> then I will do put in some work on my new tier video that I have targeted for you know, a couple weeks. Um, and then this evening, late afternoon, uh, I'll get together with the guys and then we'll record the next two episodes of the podcast, including one of those, the debate that I'm writing for. So all that, uh, yeah, uh, that's so. Things change, you roll with the punches, and it, it paid off. I knew when I saw them, that's huge news. I knew I had to do that yesterday. So uh, just be agile enough to adapt for those kind of things. You know, it was, uh, I, I felt the pressure. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get this out fast, and I gotta postpone what else I was doing. There's just no, there's two ways about it, so. Um, uh, and the only thing I'm debating, which I'll share with you on Friday, is uh, I guess Monday is Memorial Day holiday here in the US, and like with so many holidays, I have to decide if or when or how I am going to observe them and take the day off. Um, I may, what I might do is make it a light day. I mean, I still have stuff to do. I have to prep for next podcast, at next podcast edit on next Tuesday. I still have to do something, uh, but I might make it like a partial day, you know, a half day or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. So whether or not I see you on Monday is debatable. Odds are we'll at least talk here on the vlog. I don't think I'm Oh, and I'm not going out of town or anything. There's plenty of going out of town coming up in the summer. We'll talk about that when that gets closer. A lot of conventions and stuff coming up. Um, but so we'll talk again either Monday or Tuesday. One of those. Fair enough. Uh, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and get to the stuff I didn't do yesterday. Now, uh, I did mention that the uh, the Friday plays, of course, drops today at 3 o'clock Eastern. So that's already scheduled and done. So, um, yeah, I'll get after it. Thank you so much for popping in to check out today's vlog, if that's what you did. If you're here every day, guess what? Big surprise. I love you for that. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend, a long weekend if you're celebrating the holiday. And I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>